create your own courses. In this video, we will focus on building your first course. In the previous video, we took a shortcut and created a course from an imported template, but it is now time to start creating your own courses and content. For the purpose of this video, we are assuming that you have already considered and written down what the structure of your course is going to be, including the different sections it's going to have and the different content components you want to include in your course, including videos, reading materials, and an initial design for the quizzes and other activities. You and your team may have built a course document for this purpose, and now we're going to translate those materials into an actual course in Open Edx Studio. Start by accessing your Studio application by its URL and log in with an authorized user. In the upper right corner you'll find the New Course option. You'll need to provide a course name, select an organization, provide a course number or alphanumeric code that will identify your course, and a course run or alphanumeric code that references this particular version of the course. The organization, course number, and course run need to be carefully selected as once the course is created, it will not be possible to change them and they will be seen in the URL of any of the course external and internal pages. After the creation process ends, your new course will be listed in the Studio homepage but once you enter, you will notice that it is mostly empty and many of the configurations still require fine-tuning. To start, go to Settings, and to Schedule and Details, where you can set the pacing, the course dates. It is important that you select the dates carefully to ensure that learners will not be able to enroll or access your course until it's actually ready. Here you can also add a short description, select the language, add course image and other basic details, and also provide the full HTML contents of the course about page, which is an important page that visitors of your LMS site will be able to see as part of their navigation before enrolling to the course. Studio will provide a default template that you can change or completely overwrite with your own design as needed. You can also provide an overview of your course and an invitation to enroll in a short YouTube video that you can add to the course on this section. From the course outline page you can create sections and subsections within your sections and for each of these you can edit the properties, change the name, relocate them or duplicate them easily. As part of the properties you can set for your sections and subsections, there is the release date and the visibility options, these will help you decide if and when you want learners to be able to access specific parts of the course. Next you want to include units into your subsections. Whenever you add a unit, you'll be taken to a different page where you'll be able to name your unit and add contents to it. The contents of a unit are a number of components that you will find at the end of the unit to choose from. The most common content types are video. It is very common to include short explanatory videos as part of the course content. Videos are not hosted directly in the Open Edx platform, instead they are hosted in YouTube or another external video delivery service. Text Text components are used to provide students with written content, including anything from text, images, hyperlinks, iframes, and basically any kind of HTML content. Discussion this type of course component allows students to post questions, comments, and insights related to the unit materials and engage in conversations with their peers and instructors in an online forum. Open Response This component allows an activity where students are asked to submit open responses, such as an essay or an uploaded file, which then will be evaluated by their peers, the instructors or themselves against a predefined rubric. Both the process of evaluating your peers or your own work and the feedback received by the evaluators are a key source of learning. Problem Problems are used to test a student's knowledge and abilities. There are common problem types such as multiple choice with single select, multiple select, drop down, numerical input and text, and there are also a number of advanced problems to choose from. When you select any of the content types, it will be immediately added to the bottom of the unit with default configurations and contents. You can edit the configuration and content, duplicate a component, drag it to a different location in the unit, move it to a different unit or delete it. As you progress in the construction of the course units you can publish the unit in order to be able to see it and test it in the LMS. With the View Live and View in Studio buttons you can switch back and forth between the two platforms. Before publishing your course, the Live version option in Open Attic Studio allows you to preview a course before it is published. This allows instructors to go through the course as if they were a student, so they can ensure that the course is ready for students to view. Anytime you need, you can return to Studio and continue editing. 
In addition to the main course outline, you can also add course updates to provide notifications about upcoming assignments, changes to course materials, and any other relevant information to learners, and also custom pages, which are static web pages that can be used to publish additional information or resources. After your course content is prepared, you will need to configure the grading structure of the course. This usually involves defining a set of assignment types, the number of assignments of each type that the course is going to have, and the percentage of the total grade of the course that these assignments will grant. This is all done in the Settings Grading section, where you also define the minimum grade required to pass the course. Once the assignment types have been defined, you need to go back to the course outline and select the specific subsections that will have each of the assignments and set them as graded, selecting the type of assignment they contain. Finally, one of the key pieces your course will need to have before it is released is the certificate configuration. Please refer to the documentation in the Edgenex Control Center to make sure you follow the right steps for your certificates to look and behave the way you need to. Congratulations! By following these steps you will be able to build and publish your first course. Follow this same process to create as many courses as you need. Here is a final set of recommendations that you can use when building your course in Open edX Studio. Go through the documentation for course creators found in the Edgenex Control Center to understand in more depth the possibilities of the Open edX platform and its features. Take some time to create the curriculum for the course in a draft document before diving into the course creation process. Keep the course organized by using clear and logical structure, labels for sections and subsections, and a table of contents. Compose your units with a variety of media, such as videos, audio, images, and text, to create a dynamic and engaging learning experience. Mix up the content with diverse problems and activities for learners to apply the information they have learned as they move through the course. Incorporate interactive and collaborative elements, such as discussion forums, peer-graded assignments to enable social learning and reinforce student understanding. Plan ahead for media and document uploads, as well as videos and any other resources you will use as part of your course content. Always be respectful of the intellectual property of others when referencing or using any external resource. Test everything thoroughly before releasing any courses to your learners. Provide a comprehensive support system for users, including tutorials and help videos.